Hey guys, how's it going? The Higgins 93 here with the guide of the Sons of the Hordor. This is a reputation guide which will allow you to get the reigns of the Ice Mammoth and the Grand Reigns of the Ice Mammoth. Now, with this, it takes a lot of farming for some people and uh, maybe not for others. But basically, the faction is based in the Storm Peaks, which is in Northrend, which is a level 78 to 79, roughly about that rate of levels to area. Um, to start it off, you have to do a lot of quests, and it's kind of similar to Therizane in the um, in Deep Home in Catalyst areas. If you're aware of that, you'll know that you have to quest through most of the area before you can obtain the people to get exalted with. Right, so basically, you, the quest chain to begin with is they took our main, which is started by Gretchen Fizzlespark in K3 within the Storm Peaks. And if you look on the Storm Peaks map, it will be right at the bottom saying K3 in a little, just a little letter K in the 3 and that's it. It's just how it's spelled. And you can do uh, this quest which will allow you to go for all sorts of things until you unlock the quest Sibling Rivalry which you will be able to get honoured after doing all those quests with them as well. And you can do non-dailies and dailies with them at uh, the place in Dun Nifrim where the Sons of Hordor who are being held at. So I wouldn't say held, but that's where their base is done. Um, for those who do want, do not want to do the questing, or at least the daily on to make them exalted, but you have to do the quest to unlock them, you can buy their um, commendation badges in Daran uh, by any of the uh, quartermasters, uh, the legacy justice quartermaster I should say, and they're roughly about 16 justice points each. And the badges give you 520 uh, reputation without the increased buffs from your guild. If you do not know how to get justice points, uh, basically you go through doing dungeons um, at level 90 or level 80 odds or so. So you can get them eventually, it doesn't take that long. And of course 16 each is very, very cheap to get from get from like normal which is uh, neutral all the way up to exalted which is the way to get it. Okay um, that's the way I did it and of course you can do the dailies as well. Also there's a way you can collect the relics of Alduar which can be repeatedly turned in for the quest or the uh, turn in quest uh, called Hurl's Attributes which grants you a 650 base reputation without the guild buffs. And um, with that, you'll find that person called Lilith Hoff, who also sells everything. He's the quartermaster who will sell you the Ice Mammoth, which is worth about a thousand gold at Revered, and the Green Grand Ice Mammoth, which is ten thousand gold at Exalted. But these are before the, uh, the Guild buffs of Bartering, I believe, which lowers the price by the next amount of money. I do not know currently how much it's worth now with the Guild buffs, but I don't have the Grand Mammoth map because I am poor as hell. <laughs> anyway guys, that should do it for the um, guide of the Sons of Hordor in the Storm Beat. I uh, hope this helps you. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.